It's the first day of school at Colfax High. I'm Mr. Lundberg, I'm the principal here. And for this community, a day to celebrate coming together after a terrible week and challenging year. It feels nice to be at school for once. I'm just hoping that everything's back to normal because that's going to be really fun. Last week's river fire burned within 200 yards of the school. The campus was spared, but in its path, the flames claimed the home of senior Peter Dunham. I was the only one home. Started unhooking the trailer and loaded everything up. The fire came through and I was evacuating at campground. Peter was evacuating the house and pulling everything out, getting our, all of our farm animals and everything ready. <laughs> Their property would burn down, and to make matters worse, Peter's father tested positive for COVID, stuck in quarantine until this morning. Before the rally, their family reunited along with their community. Today we could be together for the first time as a family. So proud of you. Everybody knows everyone. Um, principal knows every student by their name. Um, every teacher knows every student. Pretty much every student knows every student. So it's just a really tight school from the ground up. You've got so much to look forward to because you are Colfax. It's the community that makes Colfax strong. Two staff members also lost everything in the fire. Principal Paul Lundberg praised them all for their resilience. I always tell the kids that climate comes and goes. It's culture that sustains us and, uh, and culture means care and we just need to care for one another. And, that's what we do in a small community, in a small school like this. Not taking for granted the opportunity to be together after a year of isolation. A little refreshing, honestly. Um, couldn't, couldn't ask for anything better than that. And watch you smile again. Watch you laugh again. Be able to hug one another. Get each other high fives. We've got so much to look forward to this year. They took a moment to recognize first responders with a standing ovation as work to control the fire continues just beyond the school's fence line. In Colfax, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News. Well, so resilient and they're facing all of that with facing mid to upper 90s for the next seven days. So keep that in mind. Dozens of people lost their homes and are in temporary housing. And Colfax Elementary School did delay their opening by one week while that campus is still being used as a hub for essential services, helping those families who lost their homes and those who still remain evacuated.